Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and what if Ghost Rider? All right, this is insanity, pure insanity, and I can't help but to give nothing but kudos to this comic book. I waited to read this comic book, and I should not have. This should have been one of the first comics I read this week. Holy crap, this is amazing. Did you guys by chance see what was that? Um, Rock Hawk? Oh, why can't I remember the name of that comic book now? Murder Falcon that came out last week. Holy crap, this deserves to be right next to it. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Let me talk about who wrote this comic book. We'll get into it just a little bit. So uh, this is going to be a hard one. Uh, written for Marvel Comics by Sebastian Gurner and penciled, inked, and colored by Casper Wingard. VCs Joe Sabino did the letters and the cover art is Aleski Brisklot. This is in incredible. Oh, John Tyler Christopher did the action figure variant cover art. Oh my God, this was amazing. <laughs> this said no right. Just read the first page, read the opening title page and all the crazy stuff there, and I think you're going to fall in love. All right? Um, just right off the top, Marvel Comics and Mount Scorsista presents... Uh, are you kidding me? Um, Mount Scors Scorsista. I had to look that up, but I remember the actual issue. That was... Um, I remember reading the actual comic book, but what do you call it? I actually forgot this. One time in comics, it was mentioned that some of the X-Force members were actually transported to Mount Scorsista <laughs> for, for, for demonic rituals and whatnot. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. How This feels like something that Tom Brevoort would have done, where he just walks in and says, yeah, I know everything there is to know about comic books. Ask me, I'll tell you. And he just, boom, 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 starts spitting out a whole bunch of random facts, and they're like, we got to put this all in a comic book. Oh, but no, it gets even better than that. Guys, this is kind of sort of based off of a what if. Forget about Ghost Rider, all right? Yes, he was involved in this, and it was really amazing. Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider, and this was metal as hell. But more specifically, back in the day, Kiss had a, the band Kiss, the rock metal uh, band Kiss actually came up and said to Stanley, we want to make a comic book. We're huge fans and blah, blah, blah. You know, and they were all different. Gene Simmons, the, the, the bass, the lead, he was actually more into the comic books than anybody else, but kind of shows by his outfit. But he's just like, I really want to make a comic book. I think it'll be the most successful thing ever. And we want to beat up Dr. Doom in it. And they did. And it was effed up, man. But that's not the point. That's not the point. The idea is that they actually use some of their own blood for the inks of the comics. Obviously, there's only but so much that can go out. And yes, if you can get a first edition, then technically there's some microorganism of their blood in the ink because that's what they wanted to do to make it that insane. Um, that was actually done another time. Uh, I think it was Grunewald for... Um, what the hell was it? The Sinister, Sinister, the Squadron Supreme, the 12 issue limited series. Oh my God. So that was actually brought up here. And this is a band that's obviously meant to be a little bit like Kiss, just enough. And it was perfect. Guys, like I said, if you liked Murder Falcon in any way, shape or form, this is just as good. This might even be better. <laughs> Because, holy crap, it's actually based on reality. This, this is one of those comic books based on a true story. You can't beat this. This is the best of the uh, what-ifs that's come out. It's the most what-if. Um, they call it, they say, why would we do a what-if? Why not just do a why not? <laughs> no, this was a what-if in the truest spirit, and it was amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good luck to all the other what-ifs coming out after this. This was great crazy. This was pure insanity mixed with blood and ink and put into comic book form, and I love it. Also, for the sake of conversation, a couple of first appearances in this comic book, including, I believe, this should be the first appearance of C.B. Sabolsky in a comic book. I could be wrong, but I might not be. And you can't take the chance, so go out and grab the comic book. Physical copy, I just said it. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.